So today's presentation is about TED Talks. What is a TED? TED is a nonprofit devoted to spreading ideas, usually in the form of short, powerful talks. A TEDx talk is a showcase for speakers presenting interesting and well-informed ideas in under 18 minutes. There are currently over 3,600 TED Talks available online for you to watch on a huge variety of topics from activism to aliens. Past speakers include notable figures such as Al Gore, Jane Goodall, and Stephen Hawking. The history of TED. TED was started in 1984 by Richard Saul Wurman. He was inspired by the powerful convergence among three fields, technology, entertainment, and design. The first TED, which he co-founded with Harry Marks, included a demo of the compact disc, the ebook, and cutting edge 3D graphics from Lucasfilm. Starting in 1990, the TED conference became an annual invitation only event in Monterey, California, attracting a growing and influential audience from many different disciplines united by curiosity and open-mindedness. In 2002, TED transitioned from a conference into a nonprofit. Today, TED continues to host international conferences and events, disseminate thousands of talks for free in a hundred different languages, and support the creation of independently run TED style events in communities around the world. What makes TED different? TED Talks stand out from other forms of presentation as they convey accurate and easy to understand information to a target audience. TED Talks are usually personal about a topic the speaker is knowledgeable and passionate about. The short talk model works since it only demands the audience's attention for a short period of time. Some of the best TED Talks have been as short as five minutes long. There are a few different ways to watch or listen to TED Talks online. First of all, the TED website. Second of all, the TED app. Thirdly, YouTube. And last but not least, through Spotify or Apple Podcasts. The TED website. If you go to the TED, to get to the TED website, go to TED.com. From the home page, you can scroll down and see some of the trending TED Talks as well as other categories. If you want to look for a specific TED Talk when you enter the website, there is a search bar in the top right. And this image that you're seeing now is of the website and some of the many different TED Talks that you can find there. The website's additional features. On the website, you can also browse playlists and series that they've made, watch, share, and even create lessons with TED Ed take a look at different TED books, the blog, and also the newsletter, find information on attending international conferences and local TEDx events. But right now we do not recommend attending any in-person events um, because of the current public health situation. And last but not least, you can participate by recommending speakers and projects, translating a TED talk, or even organizing your own TEDx event. And here's just some images of the featured TED Ed videos and also the locations of a lot of different events. A TED membership. It's not mandatory to create an account and you still have access to many TED Talks without one. But if you do choose to sign up for a membership, you can pay whatever amount you like. Member benefits include early access to TED Talks, exchanging messages with other TED members, to have deep discussions and much more. You can create a list of all your favorite talks as well as go back and look at the talks you recently watched and liked. So here are just some images of your membership. So if you have a profile, it will look like the image on the top. And on the bottom is how you can contribute money to TED. So what information does it ask when creating an account? When you create an account on the TED website, it will ask you for your email address to create a password, as well as your first and last name. After you have filled out the information, you will receive a verification email from TED, and you just have to click verify to finish. So these images just show the process, so the email first, then the password, and then your name. Next up is the TED mobile app. So there is a TED app available for Apple and Android. 
To download it, open the App Store if you have an iOS device or the Google Play Store if you have Android. So this picture on the right is just an example of what it would look like on, I believe, an iOS device. And you just want to press the Get button. So if you use the search tool and type in TED Talks, as you can see on the top of this image here, the first result you receive should be the TED app, as you can see on the right. So then you click Get or Install to begin download, downloading the app and just open it as normal on your device. How to sign up for a membership on a mobile device. So if you do choose to sign up for an optional membership on your mobile device, it will ask for the same information as I previously mentioned. It will also ask for your interests and what you're looking for specifically. With this information, Ted will be able to recommend some talks for you. So as you can see, there are a lot of different options for interests and what you might be looking for, such as nature or self-improvement. How to use the mobile app. So from the home page of the app, you can scroll through the different categories of talks and speakers, or use the search tool to look up specific talks. And the search tool can be found on the bottom right here. To watch a TED Talk, simply click on it and it will begin playing. There's also a headphone icon in the bottom left to listen to TED podcasts, which are an audio recording only without the video of the talk. And last but not least, you can view the details of your account by clicking on the icon in the very bottom right corner. The app's additional features. So you can browse through newest, trending, and most viewed talks. If you have an account, you can like a talk or add it to your list, and it will be saved to your profile so you can access it later. And you can also look at your history to see which talks you've already listened to. On your mobile device, you can also download a talk to listen offline, so if you don't have Wi-Fi access. You can use a Chromecast or AirPlay to cast a talk from, from your phone to a smart TV as well. And here's just another image of what the app might look like. So next up, there's the TED Talks on YouTube. The TED Talks YouTube channel contains over 3,000 free talks on a variety of different subjects. And here's a link to their YouTube channel. If you look directly on the channel, there are many different categories of talks, including money, climate change, work, and sleep. So if you type TED Talks into the YouTube search bar to access a channel, or write TED Talks in a specific theme or topic, like TED Talks Climate Change, um, you can find TED Talks on a subject that you're interested in. And here's an image of what the TED Talk channel looks like um, if you search it up on YouTube. The TED Talks Daily Podcast. So if you have Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or the TED Android app, you will have access to the TED Talks Daily Podcast. So using this podcast, you can listen to the newest daily talk, or scroll through to pick one of the thousands of available talks on many different topics. To find it, just search TED Talks into your search bar, then click on the talk you'd like to hear. To get regular updates from the TED Talks Daily Podcast, you can click the follow button on your app. You can also filter the talks by date, length, and played or unplayed. Now we're going to do a live demo of TED. So you should still be able to see my screen, I think. Um, so you got, you're going to want to open a new tab, and then you can type in TED.com. So this is the TED Talks website. So when you open it up, you've got a lot of different options here. And I'm just going to scroll through to show you some of the things. Um, you've got your newest talks, a bunch of different categories, some different playlists, and you can just keep scrolling. And as I said, they've got thousands of different talks. So if we go back to the top, there's this bar, and you can use these things, watch, discover, attend, participate, and about. They've got tons of different options to help you find what you're looking for. But what I'm going to do is show you how to become a TED member. So I've got this little box up here and you're gonna to wanna to press join today. 
and it'll bring you to this other page um, so that you can become a TED member. So you could pay either monthly or yearly and contribute what you want to TED. Um, so just for example, we'll say $5 monthly. And if you press on that, it's going to ask for your payment information and your email. And the other thing that you can do is after you've done all that, you can press sign in in the top right corner up here. And this will help you sign into your account with your email or other Apple, Google, or Facebook accounts so that you can access uh, some talks that you've liked or watched in the past. So the last thing that I'm going to show you is the search bar up here. So again, on the top right corner, you've got this little magnifying glass. So if you click on that and click on search, um, you can search up whatever you want. So let's just say climate change and then press enter. And then this will show you all of the different TED Talks they've got on climate change. So the last thing we're going to do is look at the YouTube channel. So hold on a second. So if you type in youtube.com, what you're going to want to do is click on the search bar at the top of YouTube and type in TED Talks. Whoops, Talks. And then, as you can see here, the first option, other than the ad, is this TED account here. And if you click on this, it's going to bring you to the YouTube channel. And they've got tons of their TED Talks uploaded here as well. So if you're more familiar with YouTube, this might be a good option for you. And you can just keep scrolling and look at all of the different options they have there. So that is it for the presentation.